Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Um, we're going to learn how to create API keys for the sales API on Hubtel. So first of all, log into your dashboard um, at bo.hubtel.com and then also go to developers.hubtel.com and let me just show you this sales API is what we are creating the keys for. Now this API can be used for e-commerce payments, mobile banking, bulk payments and any kind of integration that involves payments on Haptel. Right, so let's get started. First of all, once we log into our dashboard, we need to create a product by going to products and services. Now this product we create serves as a reference for the API linking because once you start receiving payment, you should have a way to track where the payments are coming from. So that's the reason why we need to create a product first. So just go to add product and give it a name. So let me just call my, um, let's say, payment from Haptel. Or you can name it something that you will be more familiar with. So the goal is that you should be able to track where the payment is coming from. And then choose any category you have already created. Let me just say beer. Um, give it a description. Let me say Haptel payment. So once a payment comes to this payment from Hotel is what you use to reference where the money is coming from. All right. So next thing is to give it a cost price. So let me say it's one CD. I'll sell it for two CDs. And then the quantity in stock is important as well. Let me give it five so that the API knows that okay, this item we are trying to sell is still in stock. Okay. So low limits, low stock limit can be one. Let me save and continue this. Okay, so I need to now specify how many items are in each branch that I have. I have two branches, so let me say two here and two here, right? And then save it. Great, so once this is done, the next step is to set up the API keys and link it to this item we just created. Okay, so let me go to manage and then go to programmable integrations so once you are here just click on add new and then select an employee who you want to be using the api key and then the branch where you'll be, you be, you be making the payments from and then for the ip address is the ip address where the api will be talking to it from so let me use on it as an example so your developer will know which ip address to use here go to next and then assign the product so you see I named my payment from Haptel so this is where we link the API to the item we created earlier on right then, then I just go to accept and activate so that's all so now I have my API set up and I can use this for the integration the, so just copy and save it somewhere um, to use for later integration so the last step is to get the scopes for your API so what I did was this one with the name payment from Haptel now this scopes you need to just contact your account manager I have told to add them for you so if you look at my previous um, APIs I have um, web checkout already I have mobile money send that right so the account manager will be the one to enable the rest of these ones for you to enable you to um, do the integration for different um, scopes as well so if you have any questions just send us an email at support at haptel.com or leave a comment below this video and we'll get back to you all right Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys in the next video.